Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you're not, I'm so glad you're here. So let's jump into today's video. tell by the title and if you have been watching my past couple of videos you would know that I recently got a kitten here he is his name is cheese he's really confused right now as to why <laughs> I'm trying to show him to the camera he's about five months old I think he's got some really really pretty blue eyes he's probably not gonna show you right now but he's got really pretty blue eyes he's mainly white and then his ears and his tail are orange. I wanted to make a video on all of the kitten supplies that I bought for him. Hopefully this video helps you out if you are looking into getting a kitten or a cat. Honestly, I think we got a really good amount of supplies. There's not too many and he loves everything that we have gotten him. I got almost everything from Amazon and PetSmart, so I will link everything that I can down below. The very first thing that we actually purchased for Cheese way before we even got him is this basket to put all of his toys and stuff like that in. I just think this is so cute. One thing that I didn't want to happen was our house looking cluttered with cat stuff. And I think cute baskets like this to put it in really help with that. I'm going to quickly move on to toys because he doesn't have too many toys. We didn't want to go overboard or anything like that with the toys considering he is a cat and could find a ribbon and have the time of his life with it. So the first thing that we got is this thing. Obviously it's broken, but he still loves playing with the little toy that was at the end of it. We got it from Walmart. Since it did break so easily, I'm not gonna link it down below. I can't really tell you that you should go get this because it obviously isn't the best quality. The next toys that we got were actually a set from PetSmart. Oren was like, we don't need to get those, but he loves them. So I'm glad that we got them and they're so cute. It comes in a set of three. There's a little coffee. There's a donut and there's a little croissant. I think his favorite one for sure is the croissant. He loves this thing. He will play with this thing for like 20 minutes straight. I also believe that they are catnip toys. The rest of these toys that we have in this thing are actually just random objects that we had around the house, like foam things that we got from parades and football games. And then we had this ball. So we put that in there. He does play with these things every now and then, but he definitely loves the PetSmart toys a lot better. We also got him a laser pointer. This is from PetSmart. I believe it was like five, six dollars. He will go crazy for this thing. If you have a cat, you have to get a laser pointer. They love these things. It doesn't matter how old they are, they will go crazy with a laser pointer. So definitely invest in one of these. Like I said, super cheap, definitely worth it. The next toy that I got him is from Amazon. It is a scratching post that obviously has a little dangly ball here that he likes to play with. And then on the bottom, it has these balls that he can push around with his paw. He really does like playing with this thing. And honestly, I think it's a lot more like aesthetic than a lot of other scratching posts, which is why I got it. It was so easy to set up too. It only came in three pieces, super duper easy to set up. Again, he loves this thing. He really does use the scratching post. We're trying to teach him right now not to use the couch and to use the scratching post. And honestly, he really likes using this, so that's good. This was around $25, I wanna say, and it was definitely worth the purchase. And then the last like toy item that we got him was a cat tree. It's out in our living room right now. It's pretty tall. It's probably almost about as tall as me and I'm 5'3". It was only $30 too, which is absolutely crazy. I figured for $30, it was not going to be a very good quality. It was going to like fall apart, be super uneven. But honestly, he loves this thing and it's decent quality. It hasn't tipped over at all. It's sturdy. A lot of other cat trees that I see that are smaller than this one are like over $100. So I will definitely be linking this one down below if it is still available because it is a steal. Now let's move on to feeding supplies. The first feeding supply that we got him was a mat to put his bowls on. I'll put a picture of it up here. Just a gray silicone mat, got it on Amazon. And honestly, it's helped a lot, I really like it. Now his bowls we got from PetSmart. These are his bowls. I think these are so cute. I saw these and I was like, no, I, I need to have, we need to have these. They were only like $9. I have heard a lot about the elevated cat bowls, how it helps with digestion, it helps prevent whisker fatigue. It's overall just better for the cat than to be eating like scrunching down, which does make sense. 
I also like these because they can hold a lot. These are great. They're ceramic, so you do have to be a little bit careful with them, but I just think they're so cute and aesthetic, and I love this purchase. Now this is the food that we have been feeding him. It is the Wellness Complete Health Kitten Whole Grain Chicken and Chicken Meal Recipe. I was researching one day what the best like kitten food is and this one it came up in quite a few of the searches so we're trying it. If you guys know of any better foods or if you guys have used this food let me know in the comments below. Obviously I want to get him the best food but this one is a good price and I've heard that it's good so this is what we are sticking with right now. I got him a couple of other foods to try. We actually have not tried any of the soft foods yet, but I got him the Wellness Complete Health Kitten Whitefish and Tuna Entree and the Kitten Chicken Entree. And then we also got him some cat treats. I don't remember what brand we got him, but I know that we got them at PetSmart and they were for kittens. The last thing that we got him were these delectable squeeze up treats. I believe these are with vegetables and chicken. I have actually not tried these with him yet. I just feel like they're gonna make a mess, but I also think that he will love them. So I do need to try them. But that is all for food that we got him. So let's move on to litter supplies. Before getting a kitten, the thing that I researched the most was litter. I am terrified of our house smelling like cat or cat poop and I just do not want that to happen. So I researched litter a lot. I looked up the best kinds of litter, the best kinds of litter boxes. The litter that I decided to use for him was the Fresh Step Crystal Cat Litter. It's non-scented. A lot of other litters are very dusty. This one does not have dust. A lot of other litters also need to be changed about every Every single week. This one needs to be changed about every three weeks to a month, which is a lot better. It doesn't, you don't waste as much litter. You don't have to buy it as often. It is a little bit more expensive, but it absorbs the scent very, very well. Honestly, I just think this is a great purchase. I think that we will continue purchasing this litter. I really like it. I would definitely recommend trying this litter out and seeing how you like it because so far I really, really like this. While I was researching, I came across these and I thought that I might as well try them. I have not actually tried them yet. They are still in the bag, but I believe that I'm going to try them soon. They are charcoal bags. You're supposed to put one of them next to the litter and it's supposed to absorb more scent. I will also link these down below. I got them on Amazon. I think it comes with a pack of four. The next few things that we got him for litter are obviously in his litter box and I'm not gonna take that out to show you right now. The first thing is the actual litter box. I researched what litter boxes are best. I just couldn't spend a fortune on it. When I was researching I came across a stainless steel litter box which honestly at first was I was kind of like, mm, that's a little bougie. I don't know if we need that. It is a lot more expensive than just like the plastic tub litter boxes. But the more that I looked into it, the more that I realized I wanted it. So for one thing, not super expensive. It's not one of the litter robots. It's not $500. It doesn't clean up itself. One of the main things that it promotes is that in the long run, it does not stink as bad as plastic litter boxes. And one of the main reasons is because when cats scratch to cover up their waste. A lot of times with the plastic litter boxes, they will scratch them and they will get dents in the side. Now the dents apparently can collect all of those little poop particles and the scent particles and that's why even after you scrub and scrub those things, they still smell really bad. With the stainless steel litter box, they can't do that. They can't make the dents in it. Their nails just aren't strong enough and so you can scrub them and get them completely clean. I have cleaned his litter box completely one time. It smelled brand new after that and I just let it dry completely and put more litter in it. I love the stainless steel one. I really recommend you guys get one if you have just those plastic tub ones. It is a little bit more expensive but it is totally totally worth it. It is now time for the scripture of the video which I have not done in quite a few videos for no other reason than just forgetting. Today's scripture of the video is Romans 15 5. I'm reading it from the NIV version. It says, may the God who gives you endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Jesus Christ had. Basically, it's saying just be kind, just love each other, be kind, and obviously that's a reminder that we all need in our day-to-day -day lives. Also, Romans is such an encouraging book. Parts of Romans are just so uplifting and encouraging, and it's a really good book. So I wanted to bring you another scripture from Romans today. This is your reminder to be kind and love each other. Now let's get back to the video. 
The next thing that we got him for his litter was one of the litter mats that picks up the litter when he's like walking out of the litter box so that it doesn't get everywhere. It does work fairly well. It doesn't fit exactly into place and so there there is some litter that still gets around but it does work fairly well when you're done with it you just kind of like pop the sides and it opens up and you can just dump the litter right back into the litter box i like it i think it's a good purchase we also just got him like a five dollar litter scooper from PetSmart. it's just plastic there's nothing special about it but it works very well and the last thing that we got him for his litter box was a litter box enclosure. Now, if you guys have never seen these, I 100% recommend getting one of these. When you look at it from the front, it just looks like a little decorative table. It was super easy to put together. I did it all by myself, which is really saying something. So if I can do it, you can do it too. So easy. I love that it has a little shelf on top too. There's just a lot of things that you can store there. And honestly, I do think it helps trap the smell so well. When we first started using it, we had both of the cabinet doors open so Cheese could see his litter box and he knew exactly where it was. Once he was using it well, a couple days later, I shut the door that was right in front of the litter box and he had to go in through the other door and go in through one of the holes on the side. And then once he got good at that, I shut both cabinets and they've been shut ever since then. And he just goes in through the hole in the side, uses it and comes right back out. So I think it is a very good purchase. It was around $100. But again, it looks cute, it's aesthetic, and it serves a really good purpose and it works really, really well. So I 100% recommend getting one of those if you can. Now some miscellaneous items that didn't really fit into any category. First thing, we got a brush that also came with a little flea brush. I'm not gonna link this one down below. I got it on Amazon. It was only about $5 and I just don't think it works very well. I am probably gonna go to PetSmart soon and find a better version of this brush that actually works. The next thing that I got, I have seen all over TikTok and I figured that I just needed to try it. I think it's called a Chom Chom. This thing picks up hair like no other. Honestly, it really, really works. It picks up a lot of hair. You just run it on the couches or wherever you want to pick up hair from and then in this little cartridge back here you open it and you take all of the hair out and throw it away it's super easy to use i think it's around 25 dollars, but i recommend getting one of these it saves vacuuming time you can just quickly go over the couch or the chairs or whatever you want to each night and just picks up the hair really really well so i would recommend getting one of these the last thing that we got for cheese was a carrier this is the one that I got. It's just gray. It's a decent size. One thing that I really like about this one, it has a little bowl that you can attach in there if you need to feed him or water him. If that's a really nice feature. This was fairly cheap again. I believe it was under $30. I really like it. Cheese didn't seem too freaked out when he was in it for the first time, so that's good. I would recommend this one. I really don't see any issues with it. It's not like the biggest one that you can get, but it's also not the smallest. And for the price, I think it does a really good job. I know that doesn't seem like a ton of supplies, but honestly, he's a cat living in a small apartment. He doesn't need a ton of supplies. All of them were fairly inexpensive, especially compared to other things, and they all work very well. Again, I will link everything down below, and that's all that I have for you guys today in this video. I hope that this gave you some idea as to what kind of kitten supplies you will need if you are getting a kitten or cat anytime soon. I recommend really doing your research before you get litter and things like that. See what the best fit for you and your family might be. That's all that I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are still here at the end, comment the cat face emoji, whichever one you want to, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!